Hello. Hi. Hi, Emily. Happy Friday. Yes. <laughs> I'm so happy to talk to you again. It's been a long time. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Welcome back. All right. How are you? I'm good. All right. That's good to know. Okay. We didn't have our classes for two days. I mean, mm -hmm. on last Monday and then last Wednesday, you yeah. postponed your classes. Were you busy? No. Mm -hmm. I had headache oh. on last Monday. Uh huh. And. I went to hospital on last Wednesday. Because of your headache? No. Oh, okay. My face skin care. Uh-huh. So I went to hospital. Ah, okay. It's like you went to a... Uh, you went to a dermatologist. Mm-hmm. Yeah, like you said, face is skin care. You went to a skin care clinic. Oh, yes. I see. I thought something <laughs> was wrong with you. Yeah, I got a bit nervous. Okay, so you can say here, um, I had a headache last mm -hmm. Monday. Mm -hmm. You can simply say, I had a headache last Monday. Can you please say? Hold on. And then this one. Um, I had a headache last Monday. Okay, and then you can say, I went to a skin care clinic last mm -hmm. Wednesday. All right, yeah, please say this. I went to a skin care clinic last Wednesday. Okay, all right, thank you so much for that. Are you ready to study now? Yes. I? I do. Are you ready <laughs> to <laughs> study ready. now? Yes. Yeah, the I... answer should be yes, I am. Yeah. All right. Yes. Okay, so let's get started. Mm -hmm. So we are now answering the questions in part one of set four. All mm -hmm. right, and this is about singing. Mm. All right, Emily, can you still remember? Yeah. All right. Okay, so let's get started now. All right, let's talk about singing. So mm -hmm. here is the first question. Do you like singing? Mm. When I was young, I love singing, but now I don't like singing. I don't know why I don't like singing. That's it. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. So let's talk about your answer, right? Mm -hmm. There you go. I heard you you made that sound again. Hmm? <laughs> before you answered or before you delivered your ideas. I told you, right? <laughs> yeah. Try to avoid doing or making that sound. Okay. All right, so answer the question confidently and uh, naturally, all right? Mm -hmm. So we will avoid or we will, yeah, we will avoid, we will refrain from making that sound, all mm -hmm. right? Please remember that. Okay, Emily? Yes. Yeah, from you are not allowed to make that sound. <laughs> <laughs> okay, then. So this time you said, when I was young, I love singing. Yes. All right. So that was when you were young, right? Mm -hmm. That means that was uh, something in the past. 
So we are going to say loved.、Mm. Right? Okay,、yeah. let's、uh, practice、uh, saying that word in past form. Please、uh, say loved. Loved. One more time, please. Loved. Loved. Okay, and this is your sentence. When I was young, I loved singing. But we will say, when I was young, I loved singing. When I was young, I loved singing. Okay, but you said but, but now.、Mm-hmm. But now I don't、mm-hmm. like singing. All right. Yeah. So you said but now. I don't like singing. All right. Yo,、mm. yeah, we will say it like this. But now, I don't like it anymore.、Mm. Right? Yeah. Because yeah. we already know that you're talking about singing, so you can just use, yeah, the pronoun it、mm. to replace the word singing. Can you please say? Um, now I don't like it anymore. Okay, and then the last <laughs> sentence that you said, I don't know why. I don't like it. Yes, I don't know why I don't like it. Or you can also say, I don't know why I'm not fond、mm-hmm. of it. Or I'm、mm. not fond of singing.、Mm. All right. Can you please say this? I don't know why. Ah,、uh-huh. hold on. It should be like this. I don't know why I'm not fond of singing. I don't know why I'm not fond of singing. All right. So instead of saying. Uh, I don't like it. We can say, or we can use another expression for that, and、mm-hmm. that is not. I'm not fond of、mm-hmm. it, or I'm not fond of singing.、Mm-hmm. All right. Yes. Yeah. Okay. So,、uh, there you go. Let's now have question number two. When、mm-hmm. do you sing? Hmm. <laughs> When I go to karaoke with my friends, or stay home alone, sometimes I sing. That's it. Uh huh. Yeah. <laughs> What did you do? <laughs> you did not make that sound, but you laughed. <laughs> <laughs> also, you're not allowed to laugh. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Don't make unnecessary sound or reaction when you are making or when you are delivering your answer. All right. Don't laugh as well.、Mm. Okay. However, this one, yeah, you said when I go to karaoke, karaoke with my friends, or、mm. stay home alone, sometime I sing.、Mm. All right. Okay.、Mm. So,、uh, can you please、uh, say this? Let's just、um, polish your pronunciation、mm. here. It's like karaoke. Karaoke. Uh huh. One more time, please. Karaoke. <laughs> karaoke, karaoke. Is it Japanese? Ah,、uh, yes.、Mm? Actually, yeah. The origin of uh, uh, the word karaoke is uh, uh, from. This is from Japan.、Mm. Yeah, it originated in Japan.、Mm. All right. Yeah. Yeah, they say karaoke, <laughs> but <laughs> karaoke, something like that. But in English, this is pronounced as karaoke. 
imperative forms. Right. In... Yeah. It pronounced. Uh, it it sounds like this. Karaoke. 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 Right. <laughs> In Korea, and how do you say? Japan, we say karaoke. Karaoke. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Okay. Right. It's karaoke. But yes, this is an English proficiency test. Yes. Yeah. For yeah, for those who speak in English, we say karaoke. 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 Right. It's getting better now. Yeah. All right. So the pronunciation is getting better. Let's go back to your answer. All right. Mm -hmm. So Emily, what did you say here? Yeah, when I go to karaoke with my friends or stay home alone, sometime I sing. Mm -hmm. All right. Can we fix that? I'm sure we can fix it. It's just a. It's just one sentence. Right. How can you complete the sentence? I sing when, when? I go to. Karaoke. Okay. Karaoke. <laughs> okay, one more time. Karaoke. Karaoke. Uh-huh. Yeah. Karaoke. Karaoke. Uh-huh. Yeah. Actually, we say uh, karaoke room or karaoke bar. Mm. Uh-huh. All right, so we can say karaoke bar, not just a karaoke. Mm. All right. Uh huh. Or you can also say karaoke box mm. or room. Yeah, because the meaning of karaoke is just like um, yeah, just like singing. Mm. Yeah, singing with your with a microphone and that you can read the lyrics of the songs mm -hmm. yeah, on a screen. Mm -hmm. That is the modern karaoke now, all right? So it's better to say, um, I sing when I go to karaoke bars mm -hmm. with my friends. Yes. All right, so this is one sentence. Yeah, we are going to separate the two ideas into two sentences. Okay, can you please say this first? <clears throat> when I go to karaoke with my friends or stay home alone, sometimes I sing. Oh, huh? <laughs> that's what you said. <laughs> <laughs> but that's all right. <laughs> you can say the better sentence. Okay, please read the better sentence. I sing when I go to karaoke bars with my friends. I sing when I go to karaoke bars with my friends. All right. So I could see your effort to pronounce that word correctly. Karaoke. <laughs> <laughs> I see. Yeah, but you have to do it naturally, okay? Yeah. Yeah, don't say I see when I go to karaoke bars. <laughs> <laughs> yes, but I, I, I appreciate your effort. I know that you were just trying to say that correctly in English. All right. Okay, and then another idea that you said, or stay home alone sometime, I sing. How can you fix it? I sing song. Mm -hmm. uh, sometimes I sing the song uh -huh. when I stay home alone. Right. <laughs> <laughs> yes, or you can also say also. I tend to sing when I'm home alone. Mm. All right. Can you please say this? Also, I tend to sing when I'm home alone. All right. Okay. So I am going to give you a sample answer. 
All right. So this is a very simple one. Yeah,、mm -hmm. you can say it like、uh, you. You may read this sample answer. Right. The question for this is when do you sing? Can、mm -hmm. you please read? I sing when I feel like it. I sing in the car with my friends, in the shower, and sometimes whenever, just in the house. All right, and sometimes whenever, just in the house. Yeah. All right. In your case, you sing when you go to karaoke bars with your friends, or、mm -hmm. when you are at home alone.、Mm -hmm. All right. Okay, so let's have now the next question. Will you take singing lessons in the future?、Um, I I want to take singing lessons. When I have, when hmm, I have no ideas. Uh huh. You have no ideas. Yes. All right. But you want to take singing lessons in the future. Yes, if I have time. Uh huh. Uh huh. I see. Okay. All right. But do you have reasons why you think of、uh, taking singing lessons in the future? Or why you want to take singing lessons? Hmm. I don't know. You don't have any reason. Yeah. Ah,、uh, maybe because you don't like singing. Paul, do you like singing in general? No. <laughs> yeah, that's why you're having a hard time. To come up with reasons because you don't like singing now, but you want you want to take singing lessons.、Mm. Uh huh. All right. Okay. So I'm going to give you idea an idea here. Okay. So this is a sample answer from a test taker. All right. So will you take singing lessons in the future? Yeah. Can you please read? Yes, I'm planning to take singing lessons and also want to learn how to play the guitar in the future. I think I have it in me. It's just that I lack proper guidance. 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 Right. From the verb guide. Yeah, mm -hmm. It's like guidance, proper teaching, or proper education.、Mm -hmm. Yeah, guidance. So can you please、uh, say this word? Guidance. Guidance. Okay, one more time, please. Guidance. Guidance. Yeah. So it's like a、uh, guidance, like direction or instruction. For、mm -hmm. teaching,、mm -hmm. all right. So in this sample answer, the test taker is saying that he wants to take singing lessons in the future because he feels that、um, he likes singing and he likes、uh, music、mm -hmm. deep inside him.、Mm. All right. Yeah.、Mm -hmm. So that is a like a positive answer. And this one is、uh, a negative, some somewhat like negative answer, right?、Mm -hmm. For those people who don't want to learn or to take singing lessons in the future, this is 
what they say. Yeah, can you please read? I think I want to learn to singing in the future. I must say that I'm not good at singing, but I don't think that matters. What matters is I'm not that into it, so it will be a waste of time and money if I take singing lessons someday. Mm -hmm. Yeah. All right. So, what is the reason why he doesn't want to take singing lessons? He is not good at singing. So, singing lessons mm -hmm. are waste of time and money. Uh huh. Yes. All right. Do you think the same way? Do you think the same? No. <laughs> You're not allowed to make that sound. <laughs> okay. So here you can say also, based on your answer, you said, I want to take singing lesson if I have time. Or how about saying, um, yeah, like this, I don't like singing that much, but if given a chance, I would like to take singing lessons in the future. How about say, saying that? Can you please say this? I don't like singing that much, but if I give a chance, I would like to take singing lessons in the future. All right. Okay. So yeah. do you have any question? No, I don't. Wow, very good. <laughs> it's very confident. But don't be angry, okay? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> All right. So let's have the last question here. Did you enjoy singing when you were younger? Yes. Oh, when I was elementary school student, I was in Choir, C H O I R. So I loved singing with my friend. That's it. Okay, jazz. All right. Uh, this one, you mentioned a very important detail here. Yeah, you mm -hmm. said yes, all right? You can also say, yes, I did. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yes, I did. Yes, I did. Yes, or you, you can also say, absolutely. Mm. Yeah, like you absolutely enjoyed singing when you were young because of the reason that you mentioned. Mm. All right. Can you please say absolutely? Absolutely. Okay. All right. And this one you said, when I was elementary school student, <laughs> <laughs> you did that. I was in choir. C H O I R. All right. Thank you. Thank you for spelling that out. Okay. <laughs> but <laughs> yeah, I understood it because you spelled it out. But next time you have to be sure of the words that you're going to say. All right. So let's practice saying that it's choir. Choir. Mm. Right. Choir. Choir. It's not choir. It's not C H O I R. We will say choir. Choir. All right. So the sentence will be ah, and this one, it should be when I was an elementary mm -hmm. school student. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you were you were an elementary school student, right? So you can yeah. say it like this. When I was an elementary school student, I was in a choir. And I was an elementary school student. I was in a choir. Yes. All right. Okay. So actually, um, unfortunately, we don't have enough time. 
Yeah, yes. but next time when I call you again, we are going to have part two of mm -hmm. set four, and then we will go to part three right after. Yeah, we talk about the feedback on mm -hmm. your answer. All right. Okay, yes. Emily, thank you so much. You truly listened to what I told you today. Okay, yes. so next time, avoid making that sound and be confident. All right, <laughs> okay. but don't yes. sound angry. <laughs> All right, so can you please remember? Uh, can you please say this word again? Karaoke. Karaoke. Okay, and then for our vocabulary part, uh, please uh, say um, this one, guidance. Guidance. Yeah, that means like teaching or instruction. Mm. All right. Yes. All right. And then this one, when I was young, I love singing. That was when you were young. So we will use loved. When I was young, I loved singing. Can you please say? When I was young, I loved singing. Okay. That will be all for today. Thank you so much. Bye. Bye.